Welcome to another video tutorial. Today's video tutorial is on permissions. Welcome back to the third installment of this three part uh, tutorial system that I'm doing. Uh, we've already gone over how to set up the basic user, uh, the basic forums, uh, creating new categories and creating new forums. And then during the second video, we ended up going through the groups, setting up the groups and the advanced username color to go with those groups. Now, in this third installment, we are going to go over the permissions. The permissions right here can be a little bit tricky per se. I, I personally found it pretty easy, but I know some people have gotten stuck on it. So uh, that's another reason why I want to split this video series into three parts. So depending on uh, where you're at, you don't have to watch this full like half hour long video. You can watch whatever section you need to go over. So let's hop right into this. Um, real quick and uh what we're going to want to do is come into the forms admin control panel just like before and then what we want to do is head to uh the form admins section and then what we want to do is go to permissions not overall permissions just permissions we come in here and you'll see our different forums here that we have band users uh, admin talk, test to, uh, filler, general discussion, and site. Uh, we're going to only focus on a few forums, um, and you'll be able to take it from there on what exactly are the permissions and how to go about it. Um, I'm going to show you what I've used in the past, and I know many of the people I've helped out. Basically, it's all come down to the same way I've done it, that they envisioned it. So I'm going to show you the easiest way. Pretty much, there's only two options that you're going to want to use. So let's start with admin talks. We come up, select admin talks, and look up forums. And as you can see, it's already I have it already on simple mode, and it says private hidden. Generally, it's going to be on public. Well, when you click on the drop down, you'll see there's public, registered, registered hidden, private, private hidden, moderators, moderators hidden. I don't really use any of them except the default, which is public. And generally, if I come into the public, I'll do advanced mode and I'll set everything so it's uh, like view all. So, uh, but what we're going to do here is uh, me, I'm going to go with private hidden. What does private hidden do? versus the other ones private hidden lets you to basically control every aspect of what they're going to do and you can say who's going to see it and who's not so like me i set up uh, admin admin talks on my website uh if you go to my website as a user you will not see these forums but when you watch my video tutorials you'll see that i see them and the reason for that is because i use private hidden uh basically registered hidden is the same thing it's hidden until they're registered if i remember correctly so uh but i use private hidden and then uh just click submit i don't do advanced mode i just do simple mode private hidden click submit um and if i remember right i've gone through uh, all these permissions here. Let's go to ban users. This should be private hidden as well. So all I did was it was originally that I just came in here, click private hidden, click submit. And if I go and check out test two, I believe this one's also private hidden. Yep. Same thing. Simple mode. That's it. So these are the three that I want hidden. So so nobody's going to be able to see that. So uh, we come here and uh, go into the forums. I believe I will still see it since I am a god admin. But anybody else won't see it. If I logged out of admin, I'm pretty sure that might disappear. 
Um, let's give that a try. Let's log out. Nope, I still see it, but that's because I am a god admin. I'll still see it. So, what we want to do here, let me log back in. Here, I'm going to pause this for one second. Okay, we're in. So, uh, now that we have all these set, uh, next thing we want to do is go to the group admin. And now we want to set what groups can do what in each area. So we go to group admin, go to permissions. What we're going to do right now is we're going to affect the admins, clan members, and mods. Users already has the basic uh, thing, not moderator, disallowed access. So as a user, they will not see test two admin talks and users and this user group is the default user group so anybody that reg if this site was open to be registered they will get automatically into the user group so I uh, I always recommend people to have one default group and uh, I believe I talked about that in well I didn't talk about it but I did in the editing in the post editing uh, I did mention that so of course, that's under management. If we went into users, looked up group, you would see that I have this set to you. Yes. So I did miss that originally in the recording of the first video. So we go to permissions and now let's go to admins. We'll start with admins, look up group. As you can see, disallowed access. So they can't see these areas. I'm going to do advanced mode and I recommend when you go do the permissions for the group admin, do it in advanced mode. And what we want to do is basically turn on everything. So in this case, we could do simple mode and just do allowed access because this is administration, top dogs, I want them to have everything. So I click submit, go back to groups. Now let's do mods, which are basically moderators. They're going to have access, but not all the access. So this is where we go to advance. I want them to be able to view, post, reply. And this is the tedious part, which can take a little while. Delete. I don't want them to be able to sticky. I want them to be able to vote. And of course, download files. And as you notice, I never change any of these moderator status. I highly recommend not doing that. Um, if you turn these on, it's going to display in the forums. If we come to the forums, you'll see like moderators and then it will list everybody that you have that set. So if you have administrator and moderators, they're going to display underneath here. To me, it's just ugly. And I have so many people that set it up and then couple months down the road they contact me going hey how do I turn it off well I told you not to turn it on so uh, but with like moderators I wouldn't want them to have access to the admin talks because well that's for admins so I'll give them the ability to go and talk about bad users and of course I don't want them to be all sticky so turn that back off turn these on and of course download file and admin talks will be off so we click submit and now let's check off clan members clan members yeah let's give them access to test 2 well not test 2 test 2 will leave that as imaginary mod channel type thing and ban users I well of course I would want ban users because uh, when it comes to uh, clan talks on banned users, that's generally something. So I just turn these on. And of course, I don't want them sticky, but vote. Turn that on and everything else is set off. So now the way this is set up is users will only see site general and filler nothing else they won't see those 
clan members. That group would see site general dis discussion, filler, and ban users. Moderators would see everything except admin talks, and administrators will see everything. Now, the reason why I do it this way is now just say I have somebody register on my test site. So let's go to the admin panel and pretend somebody registers. So what I'm going to do is go to your account, add new user, and let's do email test at test.com. You can see I've done this before. Uh, I do a lot of test profiles on various sites I work on, so it becomes second nature. Location. I don't know why I've been doing that. I've been doing this for like 15 years, back of your mind. That's my location. Occupation, sleeping. And I find this pretty funny because I don't sleep that much. <laughs> it's a problem. So password, we're just going to do something simple. There we go, add user. So now what I'm going to do is log out. I'm going to log in as tester. Oops. And as you can see, all I see is these three. And that's because I'm in the user group, users. Um, and if I get promoted into clan members, moderators, and administrators, then I'll see more. And the nice thing about doing it this way, and this is why I tell people to do it this way, or I highly recommend doing it this way, is just say, okay, tester is somebody that's going to be a clan member. I register to be a clan member. I get into the clan. Instead of going through and doing the actual permissions for each individual, which was the uh, like the way people suggested doing it many years ago. Um, the problem with doing it that way is you have just say 50 members, you got to do that 50 times. It gets bad. And then you start getting people, oh, I'm leaving the clan. So now you have to undo all those changes for each person that goes out so you gotta do them for coming in and going out and it gets to be a headache especially when you're trying to memorize what are they supposed to be able to do so if you tie it to a specific group now just say okay i want to promote tester to clan member let me log out my tester and i'm going to log in as me once again and Last pass. Gotta love it and you gotta hate it. Um, so we go up to user groups. And I'm going to go to uh, clan members, view information. And I'm going to add a member, tester, add member. Of course, uh, it, this is going to pop up because I don't have uh, the email set up on this. But it should possibly have gone through. Yes, it did. As you can see, testers in here. But you'll notice my name is no longer pink. It's blue. And that's because um, as soon as you put them into the group that they're going into, they adapt that color. So now if I remove them from here, they should go back to pink. So let's go to back to user group because they're also still in the group users. So I go to clan members, let's check and say remove selected. Now they're no longer there. Let's go back to the forums. And you'll notice that he's no longer, he's not pink, he's white. And this, this is a problem, but here's how you fix it. You go into the admin panel 
and you go into forums go to the AUC click on management we're going to select uh, users select group and what we're going to see is there's nobody already in here add a user to this group we come down here we find tester click add to group and just a heads up if you know how they type their thing let's just go back to users here if you know how to spell their name and you don't want to look through this giant drop down because trust me it can get really bad type their name in here and then click add to group and as you notice it says right here drop a line for each user so if you have to do five there's tester that's tester two Billy Bob I'm using names of people I don't know here I'm going to use one of my clan members actually he doesn't use the three bite me so we would have all those four and we just click add to group and it will add all four of those into this group and they will take on the pink color but you only do this if you're removing somebody and sometimes they will take on the other color it really depends on if they were initially in there if they left that group or whatnot so that's several things and uh, yeah that's pretty much it well, before I wrap this up, I did want to point out one thing because this has been a requested feature numerous times and it wasn't uh, added into this install of the CMS just because the forum system is actually going to get a rewrite um, sometime, hopefully next year. So uh, till then, uh, multi-forum group moderators. Um, here's a screenshot right here of it working on my site right now as you can see Delric I have as the owner he's the one that is in charge of that group and then you have bite me corp which is me and uh, Dan or DW Pred those guys are group moderators meaning that even though I'm not the owner I'm a moderator in here so I can add and remove people to this group if I wanted to but since I've got admin, I could do that anyways. But beforehand, or currently, you can only do one. Here, yeah, if we go to uh, group admin, we go to management, uh, clan members, look up group. As you can see, there is only one group moderator. Basically, this one turns into the group owner. And then from inside the forums, they could add more. If you want this mod, you can find it on my site inside the download section. Just go to uh, the Evo BB code forward slash form mods. Here, let's uh, go back to the root. I'll show you the path right here. Evo BB code forms mods. You click on there, scroll down, and it is right here with a green title. And uh, yeah, so. If you're looking for how to do that, that's how you do it. I'm not going to show any more on that because, well, this video is over. And I hope this tutorial series helped a bit. And uh, if you guys like this new way I'm doing it where I'm splitting it up into multiple videos instead of doing one long video, please let me know. Send me a PM. Contact me on my website. Uh, you can post on YouTube, but... I. I, I do pay attention. I don't always respond. But if you post on my website, of course I'll respond. Uh, but yeah, please let me know what you guys think of this new way of splitting it up. If it makes it better. If you guys like it, that's awesome. So until next time, you guys have a great one. And if you're seeing this around this time, as you can see the date in the next 34 minutes. It will be Christmas officially. So if you're seeing this uh, today, tomorrow, you guys have a happy holiday. Till next time.